Hello guys, today we are going to build something really cool. An AI customer support chatbot that can actually understand what customers are asking and give them smart answers. So, what exactly are we building today? We are creating a chatbot that can handle real customer questions. The cool part is, our chatbot is smart. It doesn't just match exact words. It understands that use my package and track my order mean the same thing. If it's not sure, it has backup responses, so customers always get help. Here's what we are working with today. We are using Python as our main language. Then we have Hugging Face. Think of it as a giant library of pre-trained AI models. We are specifically using their all mini LM L6 V2 model and a dataset called Bitext Customer Support Dataset that has thousands of customer support examples. We are also building something called a RAG system. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. Basically, instead of training our own AI from scratch, we are giving it a dataset of information to search through and find answers. For our interface, we are using Streamlit. It's amazing because it lets us build a web app with just a few lines of code. And finally, Pies. This is Meta's tool for searching through lots of data really, really fast. All right, enough talking. Let's start building. I'm going to show you exactly what each piece of code does and why we need it. Just follow along and by the end, you'll have your own AI chatbot running. Okay, let's set up our project. I already have the extracted folder open in my VS code. See these two files? Create knowledge base.py. This is where we are going to prepare our AI's brain. And app.py, this will be our actual chatbot interface that people can talk to. Now, before we write any code, we need to set up what's called a virtual environment. I have run this command in my terminal. Okay, now our virtual environment is created. To activate it, I'll paste this command in the terminal. Great. See how my terminal now shows chatbot dash env. That means we are in our virtual environment. Now let's install all the tools we need. While this is installing, let me explain what each of these does. Streamlit is for our web interface. Pandas and NumPy help us work with data. Sentence Transformers is the hugging face library that understands language. Pies is for fast searching and datasets lets us download training data from hugging face. Alright, let's start building. First, we already have all the import statements in our file. Now let's create our main function. This is our main function. Everything we do will go inside this function. Now, here's where it gets exciting. We are going to download a real dataset with thousands of customer support examples. This dataset has questions like, how do I track my order? And the answers that support agents would give. But here's the thing. This data isn't perfect for our use. It has placeholder text like, order number that would look weird to real users right so we need to clean it up for that we'll prepare our knowledge base see what we are doing here we are going through each example and replacing those ugly placeholder text with natural language instead of a placeholder text, customers will see, check your order or something relevant. Much better, right? We are also organizing each example into a nice structure with the question, the cleaned answer, what the customer really wants, their intent, and what category it belongs to. Now, we need to load our language model. This model is special. It's been trained on millions of sentences to understand that track my order and where is my package mean the same thing, even though they use different words. It's like having a really smart assistant that gets the meaning behind the words. Now let's convert all our questions into numbers that the computer can understand. Each question will be converted into a list of 384 numbers 
called an embedding. These numbers represent the meaning of the question. Similar questions get similar numbers. Next, we need to create a search index. Think of it like an index of a book, but for AI. Pyce is a meta tool for searching through millions of vectors super quickly. We use index flat IP which stands for inner product. This is for similarity search. We normalize the embeddings so we can compare them fairly. It's like making sure all the numbers are on the same scale. Finally, let's save everything so we don't have to do this again and again. Perfect. Let's run this and see what happens. Awesome, our AI brings ready, it created three files, a knowledge base, the search index and a note which model was used. Here we can see that. Now let's build the fun part, the actual chatbot that people can talk to. First, we already have the inputs. Now let's configure our Streamly tab. This sets up our page title. Uh, our page title will be support chat and gives it a nice chat icon, this one. Now we need a function to load everything we just created. This function loads our AI system. Here we can see that this line is very important. It means Streamlit will only load this once, not every time someone uses the chat. That makes it super fast. We are checking if all our files exist, loading our model, our knowledge base, and our search index. If anything goes wrong, we show an error instead of crashing. Now, here's the heart of our chatbot, the function that find answers. This is where the magic happens. When someone asks a question, we convert it into numbers just like we did with our training data. Then we search through our knowledge base to find the top three most similar questions. The search gives us a score. How similar the questions are. If the score is too low, less than 0.3, we assume we don't have a good answer and use a fallback. If it's good, we return the answer and tell them how confident we are. Now let's create that fallback system. This is our backup plan. If our AI can't find a good match, we look for keywords in the question. If someone mentions track, we give them tracking info. If they mention return, we give them return info. If we can't help at all, we give them a friendly message. Now let's build the actual chat interface. We start with the title of our app. Then we load our AI system. If anything fails to load, we stop the app. We can see this session underscore state dot messages. It remembers the conversation. It's like the chat history. Now let's show the conversation. These simple loops show all our previous messages. Streamlit automatically styles them to look like a real chatbot. User messages on one side and bot messages on the other. Finally, let's handle new messages. When someone types a message, we save it in our chat history and show it immediately. Then we call our get answer function to find a response. We show that response and save it to the history too. This operator is called the walrus operator. It assigns the input to prompt and checks if it's not empty at the same time. Alright, our chatbot is complete. Let's see it in action. I'll run this command in the terminal. Look at that, we have a chat interface. Let me test it with some real customer questions. Let me try. How can I track my order? See how it's asking me about the order number means it's asking me about the product's information. It understood exactly what I was asking and gave me a helpful answer. Let me try a different query. I'll say, where is my package? Amazing. Even though I used completely different words, it understood that I meant the same thing as track my order. It's still asking me for my order number. And we have a full conversation history. Users can see their previous questions and our bot's responses. It feels like a real conversation. 
and there you have it we have built a complete ai customer support chatbot from scratch you can customize these for any business want to make it for restaurant load a different data set need it for tech support change the fallback responses the possibilities are endless thanks for watching